Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it, I will turn your feasts into morning. This is taken from Amos 8.10. Let me just read from verse 9 to 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in a clear day, and I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation, and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head. I will make it as the morning of an only sun, and the end thereof of a bitter day. In other translations it reads, I will turn your religious feasts into mourning. Other translations, I will turn your celebrations into times of mourning and your singing into weeping. And other translations, I will turn your parties into funerals. What days does this sound like to you? A celebration or festival, a religious festival with singing, partying, um, doesn't that sound like Christmas? As most of the world celebrates Christmas, a time of celebration and singing and partying, singing songs like Jingle Bells and things like that. The party season, as many call it. Buying large quantities of food and drink at this time of year. This is taken from Wikipedia about Saturnalia. In ancient Rome, this season of the Roman festival Saturnalia, the winter solstice, was celebrated in December to their pagan god Saturn or Satan. Saturnalia celebrations are the source of many of the traditions we now associate with Christmas, such as wreaths, candles, feasting and gift giving. A common custom was to elect the king of Saturnalia, who gave orders to people to exchange gifts and to be merry making. Also, in another article which I'll leave at the top of the comment section, it states that by the fourth century, Western Christian churches settled on celebrating Christmas on December 25th, which allowed them to incorporate um, the holiday with Saturnalia and other pagan midwinter traditions. Um, so I believe Amos 8.10 is talking about Christmas season, your feasts. But what year? I don't know, because I believe this is a future prophecy. At that time, people will be celebrating, but then it will be changed into mourning and weeping as a sudden attack hits. I believe this sudden attack will be at Christmas season. Like you said, I don't know what year. And I believe it will be towards Babylon, which I believe is America. If we read um, Isaiah 21, 5 to 9. Prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, anoint the shield. For thus have the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he see. And he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, a chariot of asses and a chariot of camels. And he hearkened diligently with much heed. And he cried, A lion, my lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime. I am set in my ward whole nights. And behold, here come a chariot of them, men, with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he had broken unto the ground. So I believe at a time of a celebration, suddenly and by surprise, Babylon will fall, just like the time of ancient Babylon. Do you know that ancient Babylon was attacked at a festival, suddenly, by the Medes and Persians? in a short moment and it, Babylon was no more you can read that at Daniel chapter 5 so suddenly at a feast ancient Babylon was attacked by surprise um, 
Likewise will Mystery Babylon America be taken down quickly and by surprise. Um, Revelation 18.10 Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So it's quick and sudden. So seek Jesus Christ today as things can happen suddenly, like it did in Israel, the attack in Israel. And you don't want to, you don't, you might not have a chance to repent. So do it now. Seek Jesus Christ today in heartfelt prayer and repentance. Say this with me today and mean it with your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray through your Son, Jesus Christ. I accept I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. And I pray, Lord Jesus, you come into my heart and change my heart. Please lead me and guide me. I pray for the gift of your Holy Spirit. As it says in Acts 2.38, Peter replied, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So if you said that prayer meant it, welcome to the family. And also we read John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait as we're living in the last days. God bless. Bye-bye.